Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Phil. And where are we? We're in Kalima. And we have we have we have Hermes water. And leave now before the forest is destroyed. I'd hope I hope I had hoped that you would have told us something different. But anyway, we gotta give Tret his medicine. Hermes water, and hopefully that will save Kolima. The water of Hermes seeped into Tret. Oh, it's like saving the Deku tree, except you actually save him. Instead of him just dying and becoming a hollow that and uh, just becoming a hollowed out husk of a tree. I feel a great power spreading through me. Sounds like an action game at this point. Room, Life flows within me once again! I feel great! I feel like I'm 30 years younger! Tread. I feel like I'm only 300 years old! <laughs> As you have recovered, so is our forest! I am sorry to have worried you so, Laro! And you, young ones, didn't you have a favor to ask of me? Yes, Tret, you must turn the people of Kolima into humans again. Yes, that's right! I must hurry! And keep using s such diction that emphasizes such weird words! <laughs> that should do it! The people of Kolima are cursed no more! Oh wow, that was pretty freaking easy. <laughs> Tret did not always possess this horrible power. It only started when those strange gemstones fell from the sky. Gems from the sky? Do you think he means the Synergy Stones? Of course, what else could he mean? What other gems fall from the sky? Jeez. You really think Synergy Stones caused all of this trouble? It was in I was indeed angry that people had laid waste to my forest. They had even taken their axes to me! Then those gems fell into my branches. Then all of a sudden, my fury overwhelmed me and I was lost in anger! The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. Those gems twisted my anger into a force beyond my control. Sorry, I've, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIII lately. I've, have any of those saplings been transformed by those stones, Tret? And I mean, I've only been playing for a few hours. No, only the Elder Trees were affected by the falling Synergy Stones. But, it's interesting. There are others that this happened to? Because, like, like the Synergy Stones sound the same as how they've been explaining the Lassie so far? I don't know. So the same thing could be happening elsewhere. I'm not really sure because I've only just started the game, but... You must have fought many monsters on your way here. Those monsters, maybe they were just animals that were. <gasps> I, uh, Once they were pure of heart. Rum. Does that mean I've been killing little bunnies this entire time? No, they were rats. It's okay. And bees. Oh, Laurel, you were given powers too. Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. Laurel, what in the world are you doing? Wait, you'll soon see. Actually, I still don't really understand what Laurel's power is. What did you see, Laurel? It's true, even the animals have become monsters. And beyond the river. Unless it's like, um, Lamia from Ke John Keats's Lamia and she can see farther than she can actually see. Uh, a, a type of foresight or clairvoyance, I guess. Will you be heading south across the river? Yes. That area will only grow more dangerous as time passes. If you must go, you'd better hurry. Indeed. I owe ye a great debt. You have saved Kolima, the forest, and me. 
May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high. Oh, thanks, guys. And we have happy music again. What? What? I thought they said we wouldn't be attacked anymore. Jeez. What? <laughs> at least that's what I always thought. I don't know. I usually just use retreat at this point because why walk out of the forest? But come on, happy music. Happy music, we can't have fights in here now. Yeah, retreat. <laughs> Good thing Isaac knows that. Mmm. Soda. <laughs> Alex's girlfriend's gonna be so mad at me because I told her to be disappointed if I broke. Well, not my promise, but if I if I went against what I wanted. What, what I, went against what I wanted to say. Went against what I said I would do. As far as soda went. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... Hey! You're that guy! Back to Billabin. Jill, are these the people who saved you? Remember me? I was that tree! I wish I was a tree. I would have been swept down the river if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Give us a ch uh, kiss on the cheek right in front of her two boyfriends. Please, take this. It's a small token of my appreciation. Jill gave Isaac a special gift. Oh my. <laughs> Isaac got hard nut. A hard nut. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I will never forget what you've done for me. Thank you so Oh, I will never forget what you've done for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 get out of here. Le leave those three lovebirds to their love nest. Uh you. <laughs> Who has the lowest defense? Uh 68, 52, 58, 66. I'm giving it to Garrett. Garrett got hard nut. Anyway, moving away from that, let's go back to Billabin. Oh, hey! Mr. Muscle Man, you've turned back? I was turned into a tree for a while! Can you believe it? Yes, I can. I think I know now what it means to sink your roots into one place! But I wouldn't recommend it to anyone else! That's nice. <laughs> but anyway, now that we have saved the kingdom... Oh, it's... Oh, sir! We've been looking everywhere for you. The curse of the Holy Tree, you're the one who broke it, right? That's me! You're under arrest, punk! Let's go! Lord McCoy is waiting! Well, what? I didn't do anything wrong! Don't, don't call my parents, please! Anything but that! We've brought the warriors, my lord! <laughs> ah, so you're the wee lads. I mean, brave lads that I met before. What were your names again? What were your names again? <laughs> this is the last time we're gonna see you, so I don't care. He's Isaac, sir, and I'm Garrett. I'm called Ivan. And I am Mia, from the village of Emil. Isaac and company. <laughs> That's an easy way to put it. And did I not did I not did I not decline your your offer when we first met? I did not give it enough consideration back then. And yet, you went to you went to break the curse despite my words, did you not? Oh, yeah, I did. I humbly thank you. I was but ye worried. You might not stop here on your way back. I want to show my appreciation for your help. Oh, well, you pretty swell guy now, I guess. I relied on my money, but I forgot about my people's needs. 
Good thing we changed your mind. You reminded me of my duties. I'm glad, because now, as lord of these lands, I will do my best for everyone's behalf. That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you. That's exactly the lesson you should have learned from this. Isaac, it would honor me greatly if you'd accept a wee token of my gratitude. I could give it to you here, but would you not rather would you not rather choose it for yourself? I'm actually gonna show you two different things because I can't remember you know, if he gives us something just different. So I'll say no for right now. Words are next enough to express my regret in doubting you. Please choose a token in service for, for thanks for your service. Wait, I said I didn't care. Wait, what? Many thanks to you, and to your companions as well. Visit me any time, you'll always find a warm hearth here. Oh. But, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lord State. I'll choose yes this time. Very well. You can choose something that'll help you along your way. Okay, so either way, we go into the treasure room. I will, sh I will show Isaac and his friends the way, my lord. Many thanks to you. And same thing. But anyway, I like how this is like... I'm gonna guess an allusion to Beowulf. Like, we come in and we fight the great evil that is plaguing the foreign king, Hrothgar. Well, he's not Hrothgar, but anyway. Um, that is, that comes from his own corruption. <laughs> uh, but instead we fought Tret instead of Grendel, but whatever. Whatever. Um, so this, I believe, is a nut or something. This is a vial, this is a potion, and this is a Psy Crystal. And I believe that's the best one we can get. I don't... I don't remember. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I wanted the Psy Crystal. That's what counts. There might be a water life in there. I don't know. But... Enough time... Uh, enough time bum bumming it around Billabin. Actually, wait. Hmm. My palace is not finished. McCoy loves that holy tree more than he loves me. Well, yeah, because you know what? You know who you are? You know who you are? Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. She's like a spider waiting for the kill. Cruella, Cruella de Vil. Oh my god, I have had I have had the biggest hankering to go back and watch that movie. Not the one that was in the 90s or something with uh that was live action, but the old, like, 60s hand animation. 101 Dalmatians, because that, that... <laughs> yeah, it's a dog about... It's a movie about dogs, but it's a good movie. I don't care. Anyway, you'll remember back here is Kolima. And all these people are like, Oh my god, it was so crazy being a tree! Oh my god, why did we do that to anger the... Anger the, uh, great tree? I'm actually gonna check in here. Welcome! We have just the gear you need. Okay, you don't have any rarities yet. Haha, <laughs> rarity. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> don't blame the villagers for being tempted by McCoy's money. Anyone would be tempted by such a staggering sum. I fell down just thinking about it. Anyway, you come talk to this guy. You saved Kalima! Wow, that makes me want to tell you a secret! But I'm not gonna! It's too good to give away! You mind read him, read him, I think. It's hidden deep in the forest, but I can't tell him that. And that's how you learn about the, uh, blade, I believe, that you use with the log rolling puzzle. I'm pretty sure everything else, though, is the same as Emil. No, no, I don't want to go there! Go here. Yeah, you're gonna- uh, Oh, one thing we do get is we can buy armlets, but they're not... ...that useful right now because we don't have the money to buy them. 
yeah, n nothing else is actually better than what we have right now. Uh, yeah. You'll see that we can actually buy the Bandit's Sword back, which... I believe we can buy back most of the rare items that we're gonna end up selling, so you can always buy them back if you just want one for... any reason. Um, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I had to look something up to make sure we didn't actually miss anything. I hope you guys have been enjoying this view of the ocean. Because I know Garrett should be, because you know how Creighton said, Oh, one day I'll show you the ocean! Just remember that, because that's... It's a bit important. Just, just keep that in the back of your head for now. Just tucked away somewhere safe. But anyway... We're gonna go to this place that is oddly, looks oddly out of place on this map. <laughs> oh, come on. Zombies. Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zombies. Jeez, can't you get any more stereotype enemy type? I don't know why I used to loot on them. I don't know why I'm using so much PP on them. Whatever. Anyway... I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Miyoksfu. I think it's been like 15 minutes or something like that. So... Yeah, I'll see you next time. Take it easy!